So for some reason, I haven't really shot this pulse rifle, especially in the Crucible, until like a week ago. And I just figured I should make a video and tell somebody, because you're not going to be able to obtain these anymore in just a couple weeks. And before we move on to what you're looking out for, for rolls and where to get it, I really need to show you this clip. It is... It can just, oh my gosh, it can just show you how crazy this thing can get. That was trash. Oh my goodness. It's still going, dude. It's still going! Oh my gosh! From extreme range, Where is he? Oh, I can't believe I'm alive. <gasps> oh, he, he had the no time waiting for me. No. That was such a good streak. Oh, that was fun. Oh, man, that was really fun. If you haven't guessed yet, this is the Grid Skipper Pulse Rifle that came in Season of the Splicer. This rapid fire pulse rifle feels so smooth, and I think that the trick is putting a full auto retrofit mod on it. Seriously, it just feels like a laser beam. Now, there's a few other things that are going for this. In this gameplay, one of the things that's really helping a lot is having high mobility. In these clips, I have 100 mobility, and on top of that, my grid skipper has moving target, which is allowing me to strafe really fast. And you kind of need to do that when you're trying to outduel hand cannons and some other guns. Snapshot's doing really good on here, making up for the lack of handling, and then ricochet rounds, and, and the rest is just, I don't know, it's, it's feeling so, so good. Now I did also just the other day get this other grid skipper that uh, I've only got to play a tiny bit in the crucible with, but it has high cal rounds on it and it has small bore for even more range and stability. Still has moving target on it because I love it, but it's got multi kill clips so I can increase that damage and shorten my time to kill. If you can get either of these rolls, honestly, I would just say if you can get a moving target grid skipper with either ricochet rounds or high cal rounds and just put a full auto retrofit mod on it. It's gonna feel so, so good. If you've enjoyed the video so far, please consider giving it a like. And I've got a few more clips for you. And if you're interested in being a part of this community, we've got a Discord server linked in the description. Come hang out. Oh, he did pull it though. Oh! Dude, the full auto on Traveler's Chosen with the full auto retrofit for this. They just feel beautiful, man. Oh my gosh, they feel so freaking good. Oh, they're look. Oh, okay. They got their no time to explains out now. <laughs> Five minutes. 
Oh, that's funny. That'll definitely outrange this this gun. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, a trade, okay. The Shayura from that distance, man. Was gunning me. Oh yeah, that's right, and we can put full auto retrofit fit on this. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's good. Sorry, Dead Man's Tell, I won that one. The full auto retrofit mod is so good. Yes! Yes! The grenades did something! What are we going to do here? That guy's getting shredded. Oh, look at that good teammate. That good teammate came in and swapped in for his buddy. His buddy was absolute and he came in. Dang, that guy was going in. Oh, it worked out. As far as the rest of what you want to be using, like I said, really I'd just say try to use 100 mobility. It's really going to make a big difference. I tried to use this pulse rifle on my Titan with low mobility, somewhere around 30, and it was really hard to get similar results until I turned my mobility up to 100 again. Other than that, just do your standard targeting, reloader, unflinching mods, and you should be good. If you're curious about what else I was using in there, I was using Traveler's Chosen, which also has full auto on it, and it allows me to uh, hold reload on my gun after I've gotten some kills to regain some grenade energy, which I was using skipper grenades on Arc Strider with Shinibu's Vow and just having double skips, and the skips helping clean up some pulse kills when people are getting behind cover and stuff, and... I just have some firepower charged with light mods and a taking charge mod to also help get some grenade energy back. Nothing too crazy. I seriously almost forgot to tell you where you can even get this. One of the main ways is you can play the override activity if you have purchased Season of the Splicer or if you're a free player, you can go through this one time for free and maybe you'll get it. <laughs> also, if your splicer servitor is all the way upgraded, you can get double perks on it. And the fastest way is if you've got some corrupted key codes that you just get from just playing the game, you can go to Europa and go up here to expunge corrupted Tartarus and just run this corrupted. It's literally like a three minute mission, even solo, super fast. You can watch speedrun guides online super quick and you'll get a bunch of rewards you can also go to the prismatic recaster in the helm and focus your umbral engrams you can't use the tools of the splicer one because this one doesn't have grid skipper in it so you're gonna have to literally go to season of the splicer and you can do this focused engram that has grid skipper and farewell in it or you can just do splicer armor to get a weapon. Excuse me? Y'all aren't allowed to be that much of gamers. Cut their momentum. Keep pushing. Yo! No! 